my dear friends uh, first of all i would like to introduce today's uh, resource person eminent uh, uh, student professor dr rajini aluru garu head department botany and food and nutrition government degree um, rbvr or women's college autonomous hyderabad madam has huge experience uh, in our uh, plant sciences more than 19 years she has uh experience in this uh field so that's why madam is uh, going to start uh the initial uh, program uh, please utilize this uh, program and also uh, if you have any doubt please share your doubts regarding of uh, today's uh, event okay yes yeah, sir thank you madam. thank you so much sir. please click on the slide show madam yeah Yeah, very good afternoon, students. Uh, today I will uh, start the class. Uh, the first topic is uh, in your. Madam, if possible, please uh, expand this uh, uh, slide. Please click on the slide show. Now it's okay, sir. Slide show. Okay. Is that a slide show? Yes, sir. I'll start. I the slide show also. Yes, ma'am. Slide show. कर रही है. Yeah. This is the slide show, no, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's okay, sir. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Please, uh, please proceed. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, students. Uh, today I will start uh, the topic uh, algae. I think uh, in your competitive exams to ask uh, in this topic also algae. The you can already studied uh, in inter level and degree level also. In the degree side, inter just what is algae? Uh, only one class you can study the, the inter level, but. Uh, you can study it in degree level the what is algae how many classifications are there how to identification of algae what characters are there these are things you can study the uh, now i'll explain to the detail uh, first thing uh, what is algae here uh, the main important of the algae introduction first what is the introduction of algae the branches of botany which deals with the study of algae is called phycology in case to ask the question what is the phycology what is the meaning of phycology what is the study of algae the study of algae is called the phycology okay that one is the the branches of botany deals with the study of algae is called phycology this is the greek word what is the meaning of phycology in this one uh, see i'll start today class introduction of the algae only first i'll start to the introduction in this uh, algae see this one here uh, what is the main uh, the study is called the phycology phycology meaning phycos meaning seaweeds phycos meaning seaweeds logos meaning disperse discourses seaweed discourses the meaning of uh, phycology is called uh, seaweed discourses and the next one here in this one uh, the plants belonging to this group are uh some characters are there okay you can identify algal character fungal character and bacterial character these are the plant is how to identification of algae what character to algae to uh, characteristics are present how to belonging in these groups are present in this group the first characteristic all algae is a chlorophyllous you can take the any algae that one is a chlorophyllous the second one is called non vascular plants you know what is the vascular system vascular system is called to find out to the xylem and phloem both are present that is a vascular system vascular plants in the xylem and the phloem is present in that plants is a vascular plants 
but here this is a primitive plants algae is called the very starting plants or primitive characteristics are present that's why here these all are the non vascular system the first identification characters are the plants belonging to this group are chlorophyllous the second one is a non vascular plants and third character without embryo embryo is also absent in this one or uh, and next one is the autotrophic you know what is autotrophic what is heterotrophic algae chlorophyllous is found that's where they prepare the own food material that this that's what it is called the autotrophism what is the heterotrophism some fungi some plants all are the heterotrophism they cannot to prepare the own food material that are called heterotrophism but algae is the autotrophism why he this uh, group uh, found in the chlorophyllous that's why they prepare the food material own that is called the autotrophism and uh, the cell wall in the algae you know all plant uh, this is a primitive plant living organism to made up of cell yes or no in this cell wall to made up of the cellulose uh, why these are characters i have explained uh, <coughs> this one is the primitive characters the plants all are primitive in algae these character to start the in this plant in this one first one is a chlorophyllous second one is a non vascular plant without embryo and fourth character is the autotrophism or autotrophic the cell wall made to the cell prepared to the cellulose and the next another important character is reserve food material here to prepare the own food material you no know, how to preserve how to reserve the food material in that one reserve food material very commonly algae usually starch very this is the basic but each and every class the preserve food material position is to change but the starting character is the reserve food material is called the starch and the next another character what is another one reproduction what type of reproduction you can observe in this one organism maybe these are all reproduction characters the cell is the main unicellular or multicellular reproductive organs maybe some are unicellular some are multicellular uh, in which each cell form gametes you know that one male gamete or female gamete this is a reproductive structure and algae usually grow in some places which place where the light is available in that places algae grows very important where the light is there in that place is the most algae to grow and this is a light is very available or is most important and the last and final character the plant body of algae is called thallus many want to ask what is a plant body of algae here plant body of algae plant body of fungi plant body of bryophytes plant body of pteridophytes you know all the plant kingdom to be divided into phanerograms and cryptograms again to divided into three one is the thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta in that place uh, gymno and uh, angio okay one is a uh, flowering plants and non flowering plants where the non flowering plants is there these three thallophytes bryo and pteridophyte and your flowering plants again to naked seed and the seed coat is absent some plants and seed coat is present in some plant but in the thallophyte uh, where the non flowering plants are there in that uh, thallophyte uh, the thallophytes to again to divided into two parts why again to divide the basic structure of plant structure in that thalla in the in thallophyta to division to two part one is the thallus another one is the mycelium here thallus here you can uh, study to here the uh, algae no in that algae the plant body is called the thallus what is the definition of thallus the in case to ask the thallophyta to how divided in two parts the depending the plant structure or depending the uh, made made up of the plant body and in this one thallophyta one and second one is the mycelium but you can study it here thallo the algae no that's why that the plant body is called thallus what is the meaning of thallus they are usually thalloid what is the meaning they cannot be they cannot be uh, differentiated into the root shoot and leaves 
okay in that plant body you can't see the okay this one is root this one is stem you know uh, madam, observe to other me. yeah sir madam Tell me, your sir. slide is not movable please. no no sir no no i i am not too much of slides okay. here, but i okay, sir. my explanation okay, is open uh, just tell introduction yeah this proceed See, your uh, the thallus is called uh, so uh, they cannot uh, different they cannot be differentiated into the root system shoot and leaves this is called the thallus definition oh in the, uh, to observe in other plants you can observe clearly root system shoot and uh, leaves but you can <coughs> in algae you can't see that these are these are parts all are that dump in the one uh, one place that is called the total is a talus these are characters is the identification characters for the algae shall i repeat students shall i repeat these are points anyone to tell me yes ma'am yeah what is the uh, algae is called the branches of botany deals with the study of algae is called phycology phycology is a latin word the meaning of phycology phycos meaning seaweed logos meaning that is a discourse seaweed discourse is called the phycology in these plants this is a study and what characters you can identify what characters are found in algae the first character is the chlorophyllous second one non vascular system without embryo autotrophism you know that uh, i'll explain in the before you know what is autotrophism and which the cell wall to made up of cellulose the reserve food material the basic reserve food material algae usually starch and the reproductive organs may be unicellular or multicellular gametes each cell form a gamete algae usually grow in some places which place where the light is available that is the most to growing to algae where light is present and they are usually the plant body name is called talloid now it's clear yes yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am next uh, next one ma uh, after that one uh, introduction what is habit what uh, what is habitat what type size these are the very minute character minute size is there what is the range of vegetative structure these are things are listed the first thing is the habit and habitat what is the habit uh, what is the uh, habitat in the algae algae usually grow in fresh water water is must but different types of water different types of algae grow in such places the first i'll explain to the fresh water algae mostly you can observe fresh water uh, sir come and my marine water hot water streams almost all the places where the algae you can have it grow in fresh water marine water hot water streams almost all of the places all of the places meaning sometimes some algae on the grows on trees and stones also in the mud Uh, rivers and ponds and at all the temperatures also what is the temperature starting from 0 degree centigrade to 85 degree centigrade on the basis of habitat these are the basic habitat and i can uh, anyone to ask where you can observe the algae all other the mostly fresh water algae the uh, remaining other algae marine water hot water streams almost all all places like the trees and stones mud river and ponds all temperatures also zero to which one 85 degrees centigrade the uh, on the basis of habitat the algae can be divided into this one can be divided into the two type main one is called aerial and terrestrial algae girl uh, students to see here i am not to in the slide to explanation is not there i will explain in the own okay uh, you can observe uh, reference books also i will give 
pd sharma book is very most important to study the your alge after my class go through go through your uh, book and uh, you can uh, observe the write down the points that is the most important okay girls okay in case pd sharma book is not available you can go to the uh, uh, on yeah. online person yeah. also book is there go through and and degree first year book also you can read out okay uh, in this one habitat the first one is the uh, habitat <laughs> ஆல்கேஸ்ட் and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere auto absorption water some absorption of water or some amount of carbon dioxide to absorption of the atmosphere and remain attached to the with the soil the best example aerial or terrestrial algae that is the protococcus is the best example protococcus is the best example aerial and terrestrial the second one aquatic algae the okay, water algae what they are found in fresh water uh, and marine water bodies like uh, ponds lakes uh, tanks rivers ditches puddies uh, uh, or oceans these are the aquatic algae in the aquatic first i'll explain to the what is the fresh water algae fresh water meaning in this one see here see in the fresh water uh, in the fresh water algae growing in fresh water reservoirs fresh water reservoirs that is called the fresh water algae some of them growing in stagnant water in the fresh water also different types of fresh water algae are there fresh water reservoirs are called fresh water algae some of them grow to stagnant water usually on the bottom or at the surface of reservoir best example edogonia spirogyra cara gigmima and revoluria so see students here to ask the question in this area uh, fresh water algae you know where uh, ponds ditches are this water but some uh, some of grow on stagnant some of grow on floating some of grow on uh, fresh water like this to ask the question like this but here i'll give the example i'll explain the example fresh water okay the fresh water grow in stagnant fresh water but grow in stagnant water example stagnant water usually at the bottom at the bottom or at the surface of reservoir these one examples you can be very important for the example edogonium spirogyra and uh, next one is a uh, cara gigmima revoluria these are all called fresh water stagnant algae next second one running water grow on grow in running water running water example cladophora members of chlorophyce and myxophyce members chlorophyce and myxo it can take chlorophyce it can degree level it can study it chlorophyce member how many first type studies one is the first one volvox second one is idogonium third one is cara fourth one is the coleochite these four are under ug level you can by had it these four example chlorophyce myxophyce or another name is called cyanophyce or bga blue green algae these are three names are same myxophyce oblique cyanophyce oblique bga you no know, you can study it in degree level nasta canabina cytonema like this okay both are what type of water running water where running fresh running water is there in these algae is chlorophyce members and the next one myxophyce members are present the next again the third characteristic of fresh water uh, found in floating in fresh water 
first one i'll explain stagnant water in fresh second one what is the second in running water third one is the floating in fresh water floating in fresh water ma chlamydomonas example second one volvox third one cosmerium okay you don't like don't write the cosmerium but volvox and chlamydomonas uh, chlamydomonas both are under degree level you can study that's way you can by had these two example that is a floating of a fresh water algae uh, these are under the fresh water how many fresh water three way the reservoirs uh, are there in that reservoirs algae growing in the that reservoir algae is called the growing on that algae name is called the fresh water algae again these fresh water to divide it three parts one is the fresh water stagnant in the stagnant example idogonium spirogyra cara gymnema revoluria but you can by had it idogonium spirogyra cara these three is the most important in degree standard okay next one second one running fresh water running fresh water running is the cladophora members oblique chlorophyce members oblique myxophyce member third one fresh water what is that one floating floating found in floating in fresh water example chlamydomonas volvox you can ask the question here only in the fresh water give me example for stagnant water in the fresh water give me example for the floating give the fresh water give the running fresh water in the growing in running water example you can by had these points okay i think you can uh, understood in this point next one marine water you know marine water is the ocean or salt water in the algae growing sea water uh, are called marine water algae main important girls can keep in your mind uh, i later i'll explain to the classification of algae also but here you can by had it only two classes are found in marine algae what is that one one is a, already you can study it in degree pheophyce and rhodophyce pheophyce is called brown algae and rhodophyce is called red algae only both two classes are found in marine that's where these two class you can keep in your mind only two pho and rhodo brown algae red algae okay uh, example including ecto example i'll do the pheophyce you can study at the degree level ectocarpus wachiria these are the pheophyce sargassum very most important economically important also there in the sargassum ectocarpus these are and rhodophyce member only can study one i think that is the polysiphonia but in the di, uh, dictiana also there in ug level pg level you can study dictiana also but but here you can uh, keep in your mind three examples pheophyce 2 pheophyce 3 one is ectocarpus sargassum wachiria and for rhodophyce only can by had it that example name is called polysiphonia what is that one polysiphonia next one cryptophytes what is the cryptophytic name what is the meaning of these are very important many times to ask this question algae growing on snow that is called cryptophytes algae growing on snow you know no snow or uh, that is the cryptophytic algae they uh, important uh, impart very attractive colors the snow is a very attractive colors uh, to the snow the best example ma algae growing on cryptophytes they grow on the uh, snow example hematococcus what is the example hematococcus nivale algae grow in the snow that the algae name is called hematococcus stony and the nivalis this one is the what is the color hemato in that snow the algae growing in uh, growing on in that uh, snow the color of snow is color red color that red color is present and the next example chlamydomonas yellow stonensis chlamydomonas yellow stonensis is the second example this one yellow green color where in that snow the algae growing in that snow the color is called snow color yellow green color that is the chlamydomonas yellow stonensis next example cylindrosistus or protandrus 
these are the and uh, acrinema brown color to purple color these are to cryptophytic algae what is the cryptophytes tell me anyone what is the cryptophytes algae growing on snow snow that is called cryptophytes but three colors ma red color hematococcus nivalis uh, chlamydomonas yellow stonensis is the yellow color yellow to green color and chlamydomonas protodema and the next one is a anisilima is a brown to purple color this is a cryptophytes next one thermophytes what is the meaning of thermal emantar cheppandi what is the meaning of thermal tell me anyone what is the meaning of thermal heat, heat. okay good algae growing in at high temperature that is a thermophyte very high temperature algae is growing on growing on that is a thermophytes these thermophytic best example only mixophysi member which one mixophysi member is a thermal algae next one halophytic halophytic meaning which what type of water is there halophytes halophytic plants also there no you can study it no halophytes in ecology you can study it. halophytic plants xerophytic plants hydrophytic plants tell me what is the halophyte first anti halophyte what is the meaning of halophytes what type of water you can observe in this one salt water salt water good that is called salt saline water algae growing in saline water that is called halophytes example chlamydomonas example which one ma chlamydomonas next one lithophyte litho meaning rocks that is a stones or rocks algae growing on rocks or stony walls that is the called lithophytic algae example revoluria gliocapsa these two are example for lithophyte next one epiphytic algae growing other living plants or algae that is going on other living plants plant going to algae that is called epiphytic algae example idogonium coleocyt eulothrix these are the epiphytic algae next one aerophyte air meaning air, aerophytic meaning the algae growing on the bark of trees and on animals also that is called the aerophytic algae example cytonema the best example is called the cytonema and the next one parasitic algae algae growing on other plants or algae occurring parasitically that is called parasitic algae best example for parasitic with very important girls in this point why in the fungal is causing many diseases bacteria caused by many diseases but algae causing no diseases only one algae causing one disease that disease name is called parasitic algae cephalurus many times to ask this question very important that one cephalurus algae which grows on tea leaves causing the rust red rust disease red disease red rust disease only one algae that is a parasitical algae growing on plants that is algae that parasitically that name is called cephalurus which grows on tea leaves cephalurus grows on tea leaves very important keep in your mind this is the most time to ask this cephalurus question and the last and final one the habitat of algae symbiotic algae what is the symbiotic symbiosis you know both are to benefit it. algae growing on other plants symbiotically best example nostoc is this is this is the blue green algae these blue green algae association with the anthocyras anthocyras is the bryophyta or theridophyta member 
Tell me, what is the antocerus? Is the bryophytes or pteridophytes? Hello? Girls, anthocyanus is the bryophytic member or a pteridophytic member? Pteridophyta? Yes or no? No. Pteridophytic member or bryophytic member? Anthocyanus. You don't know. Oh, good. Next one. Uh, anabina. Anabina in corallite root. Corallite root meaning this is the pinus. Pinus having to the root system is there. In that root is a special type of roots are present. That is called corloid roots. Okay. This is the symbiotic algae. This total girls, uh, the habitat, what, where you can, in the habitat also, sometimes to ask the uh, freshwater algae, I can explain, no, running water, standard water, bottom of water pressure. Examples, marine water example. What is the cryptophyte? What is the thermophyte? What is the halophyte? What is the epiphyte? Lithophyte? Parasitic? Symbiotic? These are the examples are most important. You can buy had it. First, cryptophyte is growing on snow. And uh, thermophyte are growing on high temperature. Lithophyte growing on stone or stony valley. Halophytic growing on saline water. Epiphytic growing on other living plants. Uh, aerophytic growing on the bark or animals, parasitic growing on other plants, cephalurus growing on the, the tea leaves. Symbiotically, both are benefited. Anastroc in anthocyrus, anabina in corloid roots of pinus or soycus. This is the habitat. If any doubt to ask habitat, students, if any doubt to ask the habitat, main, some, compulsory one question, Mahia. Tell me, what can understood the total habitat? Yeah, tell me. Yes or no? I go, go through another point. Yes? No? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, next, another important, ma, pigments. What is pigment, anyone to tell? What is the meaning of pigment? You know? absorption of color okay why plants are all green in color why vegetables color flowers are colors are there that is the pigments the colors you can observe the colors the pigment system but algae five types of pigments are there chlorophyll a b c d and e how many five colors five types of pigments are present chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c a, B, C, D, and E. Each and every class to found to the these pigment system. When I'll explain to the classification, no. In that time, each class, what type of pigment are there? What is the color? In that time, I'll explain. Okay. Next one, reserve food material. What is the reserve food material? Basic reserve food material is starch. Photosynthetic reserve food material is a accumulation starch. Are they? Pyrenoids also present and uh, in this one, sometimes the reserve food material, each and every class, starch is the basic point. But another classes, uh, different types of reserve food material, laminaria starch, monitol alcohol, like this, this reserve food material in the classification time, I'll explain. And the range of uh, talus in this one, uni, uh, the starting for the unicellular, the structure of uh, cell is the the plant body is called the starting unicellular and two multicellular structure is present. The last one is a reproduction. Here, three types of reproduction can study. One is a vegetative, second one is a asexual and sexual reproduction. Uh, these are the uh, reproductive structures. Now, I like to go to for the classification of algae. Here uh, in the classification, total which scientists to divide it, the algae is the 11 classes. Chlorophyce, Xanthophyce, Pheophyce, Bacillarophyce, Euglenophyce, Crypsophyce, Chrysophyce, and uh, Euglenophyta, and Rhodophyta, and Mixophyta. These are two divided in total which scientists 11 classes. Each and every class's habit is different, different types of pigments. The reserve food material also different. 
and the thallus structure also different the range of the reproduction system also different each and every class to different structures different habitat different pigments are present the first class i'll explain to the like uh, pretty scientist class chlorophyce what is the chlorophyce habitat the fresh water and the marine water for each and every uh, class these are characters are most important first you can observe the habitat what type of habitat fresh water and marine water habitat is there the pigments i'll explain of different types of pigments are there no here chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b pigment xanthophylls and carotenoids what is xanthophylls color, color what the type of color is present in the xanthophylls ma anyone to tell what is the color of xanthophyll hello what is the color of xanthophyll yes you don't know yellow in color yellow color what is the carotene color carotin color beta carotin carrot beetroot you know colors what is the color yellow color of okay yellow color of this one xanthophyll carotin orange yes orange both are called what is the called what is the meaning in that both rendit in galpe em antaru carotenoids that carotenoids to divided into carotin and xanthophyll that is a red color or it to orange and yellow color pigments here in the chlorophyce you can observe to the chlorophyll a chlorophyll b xanthophylls and carotenes what is a reserve food material a reserve food material is called a starch what is this one ma starch is the reserve food material this is starting class that's where the reserve food material also starch range of thallus unicellular to multicellular unicellular